Welcome to St. Bernadette Catholic Church. We are glad you're here. And to all who are visiting or returning, we extend a special welcome. We are not complete without each and every one of you. Today, we celebrate the 21st Sunday in Ordinary Time. Today's Mass is offered for the repose of the soul of Dave Olson. Father Peter is presiding. Our opening song is the Church's One Foundation and can be found on the liturgy sheet, which you can download from our parish website announcement page. Please stand. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare our hearts to celebrate this great mystery of God's love. You are sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Jesus. 
Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, Grant your people to love what you command and to desire what you promise, that amid the uncertainties of this world, our hearts may be fixed on that place where true gladness is found. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord to Shebna, master of the palace, I will thrust you from your office and pull you down from your station. On that day, I will summon my servant, Eliakim, son of Hilkiah. I will clothe him with your robe and gird him with your sash and give over, him, over to him your authority. He shall be a father to the inhabitants of Jerusalem and to the house of Judah. I will place the key of the house of David on Eliah king's shoulder. When he opens, no one shall shut. When he shuts, no one shall open. I will fix them like a peg in a sure spot to be a place of honor for his family. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, your love is eternal. Do not forsake the work of your hands. Lord, your love is eternal. Do not forsake the work of your hand. I will give thanks to you, O Lord, with all my heart, for you have heard the words of my mouth. In the presence of the angels I will sing your praise. I will worship at your holy temple. Lord, your love is eternal. Do not forsake the work of your hands. I will give thanks to your name because of your kindness and your truth. When I called, you answered me. You built up strength within me. Lord, your love is eternal. 
do not forsake the work of your hands. The Lord is exalted, yet the lowly he sees, and the proud he knows from afar. Your kindness, O Lord, and yours forever. Forsake not the work of your hands. Lord, your love is eternal. Do not forsake the work of your hands. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Oh, the depth of the riches and wisdom and knowledge of God. How inscrutable are his judgments and how unsearchable his ways. For who has known the mind of the Lord or who has been his counselor? Or who has given the Lord anything that he may be repaid? For from him and through him and for him are all things. To him be the glory forever. Amen. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. From the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus went into the region of Caesarea Philippi and he asked his disciples, Who do people say that the Son of Man is? They replied, Some say John the Baptist, others Elijah. Still others, Jeremiah or one of the prophets. He said to them, But who do you say that I am? Simon Peter said in reply, You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. Jesus said to him in reply, Blessed are you, Simon, son of Jonah, For flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my heavenly Father. And so I say to you, you are Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of the netherworld shall not prevail against it. I will give you the keys to the kingdom of heaven. Whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Whatever you lose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Then he strictly ordered his disciples to tell no one that he was the Christ. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. (laughs) 
we are in the year of elections and uh, a lot of preparations are being done for this. And one of the things that the leaders, those who are competing in order to get political offices are so much concerned of is the polls. What are the polls saying about me? I think they ask this question every day. They would like to know whether they are popular, whether the polls are indicating that. In the first poll that Jesus did, he was not looking or asking whether he was popular. He was asking one very simple question, his identity. Who do you say that I am? And it was not just a question to the disciples. It is a question to every baptized Christian. It is a simple question. It is not a tricky question. It is a question that is inspiring us to understand what type of relationship do we have with our Lord Jesus Christ. When I read this question, and when I think of Jesus directing this question particularly to me, it always leads me to my catechism, especially the old version of the Baltimore Catechism. It leads me to the second question in that catechism book. Why did God create you? And the answer was always, God created us to know him, to love him, and to serve him. Those are the three main things. And after fulfilling those three main things, God created us to be with him in heaven eternally. But I always wondered how the church places those words, those three things. The first level is to know God. And this is what takes me back to the question of Jesus Christ. Who do you say that I am? There is no way we can go to the second level of loving God and serving God if we have not yet finished the first level of knowing God. Two weeks ago, I was in a family and we were having dinner and uh, the daughter of this family told us that she's going to have her first date the next day. And I asked her, what are you going to do in your first date? And she told me that what we are going to do is just to have coffee and then we will try to know each other. We'll try to have a conversation so that the other person may know me and I may know that person because we have never met. We just met in the internet. <laughs> and this was so impressive to me that the first thing that they want to do is to know each other. There is no relationship that can happen if we do not know each other. And the relationship of God with, with us is God is even above that. And that is why Jesus asks each one of us, who do you say that I am? The Lord is inviting us to know him. To know him not in the level just of knowledge, but to know him in the level of heart-to-heart -heart relationship. To know God is to enter into that deeper relationship so that I do not just know Jesus by name. Jesus does not just know me as a Catholic, but we enter into a deeper relationship to the extent that it is Jesus that runs into my blood, into my life. Every decision that I make, I make it based on the values that Jesus has set up for me. So this question is a question that we should ask ourselves today. Do I really know who Jesus is? And how can I love him if I don't know him? 
If I have known Jesus Christ, then I will get into the second step of loving him. And then I will go to the third step of serving him. There is no way we can love Jesus Christ. There is no way we can serve Jesus Christ unless we first know him. Let us pray in this Mass that the Lord may give us that spirit, the spirit that we can know him in a deeper relationship of life, in a deeper relationship of faith. And after knowing him, that we may serve him. And after serving him, that we may, we may love him and serve him. And then we may be with him eternally in heaven. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and Jesus is invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven by the Holy Spirit, who was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and this kingdom will have no end. The Lord will give of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, with the Father and the Son, so the Lord and glorified. Who has spoken through the prophets, I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead, and life of the world to come. Amen. Confident in the abiding love and wisdom of our Father, let us turn to him with our petitions. That the church may continue to be a light for all peoples, proclaiming faith in the one true God and Jesus Christ, his Son, whom he sent for the salvation of the world, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. That those who govern legislate or judge may be true instruments of the truth and justice of God, who gave us life and call us to care for it. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For the troubled regions of our world, that the Holy Spirit may send his gift of peace so violence and persecution may end, and that nations and peoples may live together in justice harmony, and solidarity. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the students heading back to school and their teachers, that this year may be a year of growth in witness of Christ, as well as knowledge, and that all will stay close to God and the church. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Holy, Sp that the Holy Spirit the Consoler, may heal the wounds experienced by those who have been victis, victims of trauma as we provide compassion, support, and our prayers. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For healing for our sick and those who care for them, and for peace and eternal life for all who have died. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear, hear our prayer. prayer. Heavenly Father, we ask you to hear these prayers and all the prayers we hold in the silence of our hearts and be attentive to our needs as we put our faith in you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God. The mystery of this word and wine may become shame. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you. Lord, wash me from my iniquities and cleanse me from my sins. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the of all his holy church. O Lord, who gain for yourself a people by adoption, through the one sacrifice offered once for all, Bestow graciously on us, we pray, the gift of unity and peace in your church. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in you we live and move and have our being. And while in this body we not only experience the daily effects of your care, but even now possess the pledge of life eternal. For having received the first fruits of the Spirit, through whom you raise up Jesus from the dead, we hope for an everlasting share in the Paschal mystery. And so, with all the angels we praise you, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Pray and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace to God, unite and govern her throughout the whole world. Together with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Michael, our Bishop, and all who holding to the truth hand on the Catholic and apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants. And all gathered here whose faith and devotion are known to you. For them we offer you this sacrifice of praise, 
or they offer it for themselves and all who are dear to them, for the redemption of their souls in hope of health and well-being, and paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true. In communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever Virgin Mary, Mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, and blessed Joseph as spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, and all your saints, we ask that through their merits and prayers in all things we may be defended by your protecting help. <clears throat> Therefore, Lord, we pray, graciously accept this oblation of our service, that of your whole family, order our days in your peace, and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation and counted among the flock of those you have chosen. Be pleased, O God, we pray to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable, so that it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands, and with eyes raised to heaven to you, O God, his almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands, and once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. <coughs> Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the blessed Passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ, your Son, our Lord, we, your servants and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance, and to accept them as once you are pleased to accept the gift of your servant, Abel the just, the sacrifice of Abraham, our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest, Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer, we ask you, Almighty God, command that this gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on high in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us who through this participation at the altar receive the most holy body and blood of your Son may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Remember also, Lord, your servant, especially for Kathy Davis, for especially for Dave Oslin, for whom this Mass is offered, who have gone before us in the sign of faith and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light, and peace. 
To us also, your servant, who though seen us, hope in your mercy, abundant mercy, graciously grant some share and fellowship in your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, and all your saints. Admit us, we beseech you not, admit us, we beseech you into their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon through Christ our Lord, through whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord. You sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. <clears throat> Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. command and formed by divine teaching we dare to say our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my Lord, Lord, say the word, my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Complete within us, O Lord, we pray the healing work of your mercy and graciously perfect and sustain us so that in all things we may please you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The announcements for this weekend. This weekend is the second collection for the people of Beirut and we realize that there was little notice given to you for you to prepare a donation. The second collection basket in the vestibule is for this very important need. If you still wish to make a donation, you are welcome to bring it next week. Clearly mark it as aid for Beirut. Mass intentions are still available. You can request a mass form for mass intention on the announcement page of our website or just call the parish office. We kindly ask that you reserve your places for mass so that we can manage capacity and provide a safe environment for everyone. As mass attendance limits begin to fail, we will seat those with reservation first. Walk-ins will be accommodated once those with reservations are seated. The 10 a.m. mass is nearing capacity. So we encourage all to consider the masses, which are much more lightly attended. You can find how many have already made reservation in advance by visiting the website. Also, we ask that you arrive early for Mass. It takes time to sit people family by family, and many are arriving at the last minute or even late. Once Mass begins, we need to lock the doors and let our volunteers attend to the Mass. In the unfortunate event someone becomes ill or reports to us that they have tested positive, our reservation system will help us to contact all who have been exposed. Thank you for being attentive to these announcements.
The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Oh, man.